Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Kim and Crosstalk with your host, Woody DeCostin, myself, Elio Solomon. And of course, we have some special guests in the studio this morning. Uh, uh, again, from my colleagues, perhaps favorite Mike. He did mention that online as well. But uh, why don't you just go ahead and give uh, introduce our, <clears throat> our, our guest, Mr. DeCosta. We, we, we have, you know, a gentleman that is no stranger because last time he was here as well, we were talking about the launch of the new chip and, and so forth with the credit card and the ATM and so forth that they were doing at CIBC, First Caribbean. And I just want to invite back, um, you know, Trevor um, Torzas, yep. right? Uh, I, I hope I, 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 I'm bad at pronouncing um, last names. I hope I just didn't butcher that for you. Perfect. But I'm, I'm glad that you're actually here this morning because it's a very exciting news for me because the reason why I, and the, why I'm excited, because right next to you, we have a gentleman who loves IT and has been a part of his life. I submit that the Cayman Islands is the perfect place to elevate e-commerce and so forth of that nature, but we've been lagging. We have everything else, but when it came, came to e-commerce and all of the technology that every other jurisdiction may be enjoying, we're somewhat behind. But your bank now is almost a forerunner within the whole entire Caribbean that offering some really great features with your, your debit card, your credit card, your ATM, all of, the, all of the features that you're having with those things, and I'm excited to hear that because one of the great things that's happening in the world is that people identities are being stolen. We're getting a lot of phishing um, issues that have been happening. In fact, your wonderful institution sponsored uh, an ad the other day saying, simply look, don't answer any emails asking for personal information or private um, banking information. Simply call the bank and only deal with them directly because there's a lot of nefarious individuals out there. And now you're doing everything you can to mitigate yeah. The risk of loss. And so, and Trevi, I love it. And so, Trevor, you're talking your banking institution in terms of putting a bit more power in the hands of the consumer. Tell us how you intend to accomplish that. Well, that's, you know, there's, the, you've said almost everything that, uh, that I wanted to talk mm -hmm. about. So, thanks for the introduction. <clears throat> um, at CIBC First Caribbean, uh, it's important for us to, to uh, live um, our tagline, which is banking that fits your life. And, and what does that mean? Uh, in today's day and age, you mentioned, you know, the risk of fraud, uh, people stealing identities, people getting your credit card information and using your cards. Well, for us, banking that fits your life means a secure way of banking. And so recently we launched our, our new uh, version of our mobile app that puts fraud controls, anti-fraud in the, in the hands of the customer. So last year, you mentioned we put a chip pin tap out card out in the market. That's the first one in the, Carib in the Caribbean that's chip pin tap, very secure, uh, having the chip technology. Uh, this year, we put out the anti-fraud features. So you can go on your app, you can go on to your card, and you can do things such as have in-app alerts. So every transaction that's done on that card, whether it's a Visa debit or Visa credit card, you see within about a second of that transaction, it pops up on your phone. Whoa. If it's not you, there's a quick link to our 24-7 call center. You call in, you say, listen, there's a problem with, with, with this transaction. Neat. Um, so walk, walk us through that step. I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of person listening that, you know, need to kind of just we walk right through it, if not drag through it. So I get a person coming in, they get themselves a credit card and walk us through, through the process about setting up that app. And so it's, it's very simple. So when you come into to one of our branches, if you already have an account with mm -hmm. us, you likely already have Internet banking. It's the same user ID and password that you have on Internet banking to, to use the app. You go into the App Store, right. CIBC space uh, First Caribbean, uh, you download the app, and away you go. Once you get into the app, you know, it's got fingerprint technology so what, on what's it. So what's the app labeled? CIBC space First Caribbean. First Caribbean, okay. Yes. Uh, so, so you go in, you download it. And on the app, you can set up all the different features, whether it's uh, your fingerprint, so you can identify yourself through fingerprint. Uh, you go on to the card, you click on the card features. You can put on in-app alerts so that it mm -hmm. alerts you on every transaction, which is very handy to keep track of. Uh, you can go on, um, you know, uh, freeze your cards. And, this, and again, so just to spell that out, that means <laughs> that once I've activated this in terms of transactions, every time I use it, even if I got my phone right there and I just use it, I'm going to get a little... Yes, within update. a second, you'll see a, uh, a little beep and it goes up on your phone and you'll see the transaction details. Well, you know, there's, there's other features too, Trevor, that I was reading up on this thing, which I think a lot of people will appreciate 
in that, like you're saying, you, you can almost get a, an immediate statement um, to your phone of what the transactions are going, but you have freeze my card, and I would like you to, to explain that one. Mobile location confirmation, and, and I like those kind of features. I I've, I've, haven't read your thing and, mm-hmm. and understanding it from overseas with my other cards and so forth. I understand those features, but to those that may be considering banking with all of you in a retail aspect of it, and maybe even current, you know, customers, explain those two features because I think they're excellent. So why don't we start with Freeze My Card? So everybody is at some point in time misplaced either their their Visa uh, credit or Visa debit card, Mm -hmm. and uh, they go through a little bit of a panic, right? They scramble, they call the call center, et cetera. Mm Um, and all you need to do is go on the app, freeze your card, right? So it's frozen. Nobody can use it. It's impossible to use it, right? Okay. Then, um, you know, an hour later when you go, oh, I left it in another, you know, another uh, suit jacket right. or a bag or what it's have in a you. a washing machine. Or, <laughs> <laughs> all you do is unfreeze it, and you use it again. Is that instantaneous? Wow. Instantaneous. Wow. Right? Um, that's and that's, feature. that really is a world-class feature uh, of the app. We're very proud of our, our team at CIBC. I, I, First thought of, I, I thought of a good one, but it's probably going to get me in trouble. <laughs> uh, Woody was going to issue the card to his post, and then just this, yeah, <laughs> just to keep control of the could, spending. Absolutely, absolutely. I, I saw that smile on your face there, Woody. <laughs> you, you read me too well, yeah, you unfortunately. Go. Yeah. So, so I can't play poker with you. So a little earlier on, you were talking about this uh, chip method that you were talking about that introducing the Caribbean. Share a little bit more uh, about that as well. So right. all of our cards issued now have chip pin and tap. So the chip on a card is just a little computer chip that uh, is unique to every card and makes that card completely secure. All right. So w- w- people can't compromise that card. So if you're using chip and pin, your mm-hmm. your four or six digit code with it, it's a very secure way of transacting. And I'll link that back to your your comments earlier that uh, uh, you know e-commerce use of cards, etc. In Cayman, we believe that the increased confidence to the consumer and to the merchant that these features will bring will only be make it more of a cashless society mm-hmm. right you'll see more and more going electronic because people have the faith in the card right. that, that that it's safe to use secure to use and that's so important to the customer no definitely what you're talking about now is a, is a tremendous uh, confidence booster you know it definitely makes you feel more easy in terms of using it so again just to recap a little bit paraphrase so again if i got my credit card is it in this debit cards as well that i can yes. actually go ahead and yes. do the, the season the seizing on yes in terms of use oh, wow well, you know, <clears throat> before we, we end this um, segment, Trevor, I want you to recap, because it was several months back, and I had the privilege, and I don't think Elio had it as well, of you talking about your tap, um, you know, features within your card, because I, I thought that was one of the most unique things that were happening within the region as well, but primarily in the Cayman, and as far as I know, you're the only institution, as of maybe my speaking right now, is the only one that actually has those kind of unique features. And I thought it was quite quite great. And you're offering a whole lot more features to your customers now, as you said, fitting all your banking needs. So yeah, it's very important at CIBC First Caribbean that we, we talk to our customers and we say, what would you like to have in, in your banking uh, offering? And the chip pin tap, a lot of our clients travel uh, they see others going into a Starbucks and just tapping their card and going. Um, they say, you know, that would be a great feature to have, mm-hmm. right? So that has been a very popular feature for those that travel overseas quite often. Uh, the, obviously, the chip and pin, you know, fully secure. Uh, anti-fraud features. Uh, the one we didn't talk about is the mobile location control. So you can set, set your phone uh, to sort of it, it, it communicates with the card so when you do a transaction and your phone and your card are in the same vicinity mm-hmm. when you're traveling it improves the chance of that transaction going through because it says up oh, okay it's actually him or her because the phone is there the card is there yeah. um you know we're very confident that this is a real transaction um so that you know these these offerings are are, are things that clients have been asking you know they want the, more confidence when they're overseas traveling that their transactions go through they can monitor all the transactions on their card they can freeze it if they need to 
And they can even do, there's, there's one other thing, a transaction controls that we have that if you don't use your card online, you could go on and block online transactions. I don't hmm. use my card online. Right. It's, it's not something I do. Uh, so I block it. And hmm. every once in a while I'm in, in Miami and I'm using an Uber, I just unblock it, use the Uber and block it again. Right. Wicked. Right? So it's really putting the, the controls in the hands of the customer so it increases their confidence and they end up using a card as a way of transacting more and more and less use of cash. And again, you said <clears throat> that you would go onto that app and it would be your same username and password. Same username and password as internet banking. Mm -hmm. If you don't have internet banking, go into one of our three locations in, in Cayman. And all you do is walk in, they'll get you signed up, get you started, and away you go. Well, well you know, Trevor, there's, there's one question that everyone asks. All of these great features, what's the cost to me? Well, it's zero cost. Right? Absolutely you know, that's, free, that's my favorite four-letter word, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as I always say, one of my five fa favorite words in the English language, free, right? <laughs> there you go. And, I'm uh, not the only one, yeah. thank God. <laughs> and, uh, you know, really it's, it's, it, it is going to change the way uh, people use cards, uh, use uh, the, you know, self-service uh, banking, right? Go on, check their balances, check when payments are due, check where they're low you know it has a, a feature on the app where all you do is go on and tap it it says okay it geolocates you it says you're here here's the closest atm here's the closest branch if you need to to make a visit to us wherever you are in the caribbean right if you're traveling it just says here's where the branches are where you are um you know and and it has has all of these these different features that just let put that the you know the the banking in the hands of the customer. Well, you, you definitely talk about putting the power in the hand of the uh, the user, in this particular wow. case, the customer, and I definitely think you're, uh, you're achieving that. So you, you, one, would have the existing customers that I think want to be able to make sure that they're uh, utilizing that app and service, and of course, you might have some new people wanting to line up for a card as well. Uh, can you share with us, I mean, how they can get information in terms of contacting yourself or the relevant persons? So we have three locations in Cayman. You know, you can walk into any one of those branches at any time. Uh, we also, at CIBC First Caribbean Online, you can apply for a credit card online, and uh, they'll get you set up with, bank start the process of getting you set up with bank accounts and credit cards and internet banking, etc. And you, then you just go into the branch and uh, sign a couple forms. Uh, so it's very easy to, to get, um, even easier to use. All right. All right. Well, well thank Trevor. you very much, Trevor. It was a pleasure to have you back in the studios, and congratulations on the, on the advancements that CIBC is doing within their retail component. And I know it's only the benefit to all the customers because there's one thing that we all been saying recently, that it seems like retail offerings and services has been somewhat being limited to the people in the Cayman Islands. And I'm glad that CIBC is going against the green and offering more. Congratulations to you, my friend, and safe travels to you. Thanks for having me. All right. All right, we'll be right back with the Family Resource Center right after this message. More of Game Man Crosstalk on Rooster 101 and live on Game Man 27 is next.